When was the first time you went to prison and why? My first time imprisonment was in 1998 because I was the headman of a secret society. Basically, I was playing drug for many, many years before I get caught. So first one, I went in for cannabis. I was sentenced to 10 months and 22 days. Basically, I was pregnant with my number fourth kid. Then, yeah, I gave birth inside. Uh, it was quite a hard time for me. La. 1980年的时候就第一次坐牢我坐牢是因为我吸白粉卖毒品所以我进出监狱以后吃我在那个时候人家叫我三生婆我就是这样的话十五岁的时候吃了迷魂药然后去破门行窃去偷人家的钱然后
They say, oh, I'm from 241. Uh, 241, they want the site, then you just go there. Every gang have their, have their space. Yeah, that's only the last corner, we call it international one. <laughs> Don't have no gang or not so male one, uh, they are all at that corner. One. So when people are exercising, we need to sit on the chair like that, look at people, hey, okay, well, okay, that kind of pattern. Yeah. And then when we start to eat food, right, we got a lot of stupid rules and regulations. Eh. Food, we cannot eat finish. We need to eat half on it or leftover some rice to show that we are not hungry ghosts, like that kind of yao kui. When you sing and or whistle, it's like those let out this emotion, distress thing. We cannot lose face, so we cannot sing. So all the way, just like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's prison. Were you afraid of caning? I think this answer I cannot answer because this one only in Singapore don't have for women. I have never been caned before. I actually told this to one of the IOs, uh, one of the stations. Uh, he asked me, you got caning before or not? I said, no. Uh, not yet. That was my answer to him, not yet. Then he laughed. He said, ah, you know, uh, not yet. Uh. So, you know, I was anticipating it, but it didn't happen. Thank God, okay. It's super painful. Yeah. And we did a lot of exercise, like, like squatting to make our butt firm, got muscle, so when they came, not pain. The kind of, a lot of stupid thing. When we came to the bend, we were waiting for the front of the people. Some of the front of the people came. When they came, we were very nervous, very scared. When we came to the front, 但是我们去奥的时候，哦，我们就是想，哎呀，一句都不要喊，没有穿裤的，我们都那个的，还没有受鞭刑之前呢，我的想法是，那个鞭很小而已，哦，很小而已，好像我们这些藤条这些小时候打的，但是啊，我们去的时候，哇，那个藤条是很长的，很厚了。Then we would hand tie, leg tie onto the some wood thing, and then the officer behind just soon. Wow, I got them bang like one pickup like that. Damn painful one. Without you knowing, eh? Yeah. You only can hear the boom, boom, boom like that. Ah. Someone I got nice shot. 他如果鞭，他判你鞭刑二十四下，就是二十四下一起。除非你达到一半，你昏倒还是什么啊？就就他们就停止，啊，停止了。The first three shows is like that, right? And then the next three shows, they will go back the same line. So precise. Eh? And then the, another one, so by the time you go back the same line, right? The thing will speed open and the blood will come out. After we came out of the canning, right? People will ask us, well, how is it? We just, nothing uh, normal. Uh. A little bit only. Uh. Nothing <laughs> <one>, uh. <laughs> But inside, uh, wow, inside, inside also breathing. <laughs> but gangster, uh, face Thanks value. <laughs> The worst part is when you need to go to toilet in the morning. Wow, that one is terrible. We don't have toilet bowl one. We all need to like, like squat and do, do our thing one. So both ends of the wall are like, done. Uh, then slowly, uh, that go down slowly, slowly. But you can feel the thing open out. Uh. Yeah, for that first two weeks. Uh, wow, horrible. Then painful. Uh. Why did you end up going back to prison? Coming home late. I went to my friend's place. They were all smoking. I wasn't allowed to smoke because I was got a urine testy. I went for a urine test. Then my officer asked me, "So what time you come back yesterday?" Normal lah. What normal? Because I'm supposed to come back at seven lah. Seven to seven. He said you came back late lah. Quite late yeah, yesterday yeah. I said yeah lah. I mean seven plus lah. Straight away I said that lah. Seven plus lah. He got up, got out from behind his desk, came to my side here, straight handcuff me. Eh. <laughs> straight, take statement. Tomorrow charge court. Go back. 我做出十年出来啊，哦，我第一天呢，我的哥哥给我两千块的时候，我的头脑第一个想法就是去拿毒品来抽了。真的，我拿到这个钱了，我马上坐德士去。因为我们在里面哦，都认识到全部都是吸毒的，啊，有的卖毒的，所以哈，我们出去以后，我们自己就会那个心不定啊，我们就会去跟他们。Ah, say you only use the tongue seal. When I came out 2001, right? When I started to smoke, ah, like up to two to three years, right? Then like, wah, never gonna catch, ah, become shock already. Wah, okay, this one confirm won't tell anymore, so can continue smoking. So the gap was like from 2001 to 2008. I was freely enjoying outside smoking, all kind of drug. I thought anything will happen until I end up the second one, ah. My first time in prison, I was very scared. So I want to turn over a new leaf. When my mum visit me. You know, my hand put on the grass, 
panel there, then Sumpa or cry, say, I want to turn over a new leaf, I won't do it again. So I go back to prison, I study set 2, set 3, and I ever, normal I can. <laughs> and then, quite not bad, like, 5 subjects, I got 11 points. Then I thought, like, wow, I, achievement in life, right? So after I released from prison with that, a lot of hope, but then I would go to score and then they give me a letter so we can go to this company, this company five job. My first interview is a cardboard packing company. The boss said, if I hire you, you work my man how? <laughs> or you uh, build up a gang in my company. So I just say what the Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> so the subsequently second to the tenth, <laughs> same thing happened. So I give up and go back to the gang. <laughs> and then Within seven months, I got get caught again for doing drugs and CLD recall. What made you change? Meeting my current wife, um, she set me on a straight and narrow. She's uh, night and day for me. She is very analytical. I just don't give a rip, you know. So she's good for me. Yeah. Keeps me grounded. I said, not turn on. 给我爱你多过爱是个毒品了 我为什么我的心啊,没有这个欲望,我决定哦,丢在马桶里,去冲去,根本没有想到我会这样的拒绝这个毒。One thing is because of my children, I never throw them, I never run away, even though I'm a single mom, I still do what I'm supposed to do as a mother. Other than that, what I'm not supposed to do, like drug, going club, all this kind of thing, this time I totally stop drinking and stop clubbing. I totally don't want that one also. I just want to have a simple and happy life. So now I focus on my family. The second thing is a, a, a photographer. Her name is Bernice Wong. Yeah. She actually came to photograph me and then write about my story. Uh, from there, I started to move on and wanted to do better. Lah. I got lah, before, like thing want to do underground or not without anybody knowing, just discuss. But the thought just came back, Alamak, this lady already helped me. We already changed. Now the society is looking at us is in a different view. Uh, why are we going to do this? Now if I'm going to sit down in prison, now the whole Singapore is going to spit at my face. That kind of thinking all will run, you get what I mean? In that time, I was in in 就在那个时候改变我的生命。I think it was my last imprisonment where I sick of gang culture, and then I renew inside, not by the system, but just myself. Just tell them I don't want to hang around. I go to the international corner side. So after I released from prison, I met uh, Mrs. Taman, the wife of DPN Taman, and then she asked me where I stay. I told her I stay in Taman Jurong. And she said, oh, my husband is an MP there, why not you come and help us? The following Monday, I went to help in the meet the people session. So I was wearing long sleeve shirt, I scared people to get my angkong. And then, then, then Daman came and said, just be yourself. So the next following Monday, I just wear a t-shirt, go there, interview. Hey, see me like Chi, you I appeal for you. Huh? He and a uh, few people, like the Singapore artist, Henry Chen, they all, they sent me to the cell and support me all the way. And then I realized that I can dream again. I can, I can fulfill my dreams. I want to become an artist and I can see my dreams. I don't need drugs anymore. And so I stopped taking drugs, everything. Huh? What was the hardest thing about coming out of prison? You know what was the hardest thing or not? Because you've been inside, um, you've been inside for very long. 
inside stress is different, outside stress is different. Eh? Okay, we know already, you're going to go back home. Okay, family all going to meet. Okay, we must take back the children. Must run the uh, routine again. Uh, have to fight for money, must work, all this kind of thing, problem. Okay, when you go out, second thing is how they're going to see you. Telling my friends that I'm done, uh, that's pretty hard, you know. And they, they're always calling you, trying to get you to come out and party with them, you know, and it's easier to, to come up with an excuse and say, you know, I, I, can't, I can't commit, I already committed to my wife, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Yeah. So coming out of prison, uh, friends, um, the influence of drugs is still there. Then the court sentenced us for a few years. The society sentenced us for life sentence. Everywhere we go, MRT like that, uh, then the security uh, come over. I see, please, sir. So polite. But every time it's like five, ten minute screen. It's not we are blaming the security or blaming the government. It's that it's very hard for us to understand. There's no perfect solution. Uh, in order to keep the country or the community safe, of course, they have to check on people suspect people and very often people with tattoo fall into the suspect group there's no perfect solution i don't know i don't know how to what to talk about it but but every time we go through that it just makes us hate police and police link to government then we just hate everybody and this thing will just keep recycle again what's the point of coming out of prison it's, a, it's, it's really a lifetime sentence from the society 坐牢是不是帮助一个人改邪归正的最好办法真的被接纳，所以这个很重要的。You cannot stop drugs. Drug is Seven Eleven in Singapore. You stop the custom, they will come by boat. Stop the boat, they come by sky. This is no getting away, lah. They, I mean, that's the thing. Eh? You'll never win. You know, the governments will never win the the war on drugs. There's also no way to stop gang. When people have no hope, no dreams, people will join gang. It's the perfect because solution. Family. Educate people about drugs and gang. Not against drugs, against gang. Say this one no good, that one no good. When you are young, nobody wants to believe that. Your parents ask you to stop praying with fire. Will you still pray? You still pray, but you get burned. It's like gang is one of the curve path, but the future is prison. And for once, uh, stop bringing the parenting part. Yeah. Every people take drugs, parenting. People join gang, parenting. It's not about parents. We also know, right, gangster, for what? fight all this kind of thing, then why we go? So we are supposed to be blamed, not, not them, you get what I mean? A tangible way, I guess, would be to just be a listening ear, just to listen to people's problems. So I, I try to counsel people. Lah. I think be a listening ear, help people out, and then uh, just talking. You know, when you talk, you can get a lot of things off your chest. What does life mean to you? You answer first, Abang I, I long story later, okay, <laughs> uh, la, you talk first. You long la, first, uh, please, uh, Bamban, I got no I idea. Think, uh, I also got no idea, la, Bamban. I thought later I'll cry. Uh. I think life is about, it's not about tragedy, like what we've been through, it's about giving back. Once, when we start giving back, then we can understand what we've been through is actually have some purposes. So, right now, I'm a porter, I do pottery. Beside that, I help some kids teach them pottery, give them money to do pottery and sell their work for them. I was a member of the community, but now I've changed my life. I can feel that life is very important.
。以前哈、哦，我我就是这样的叛逆啦，人脾气很暴躁啦，人什么事情啊，都是啊，碰到的时候就死就死了。啊，现在我的生命哈、哦、就不一样，我们就是一般。建建议出来的弟兄姐妹，在啊拆区那边服侍老人，为老人啊需要什么，我们就会为他们做家务，为他们啊让他们开心，让老人有什么病痛，我们一起去探访。就是现在我们回味社会，我们感到很知足。You know, life is short. That's why I always joke with them. Ah,、uh. hey, you know, ah,、uh, inside here, I done so much drugs, ah.、Uh. If I die, right? You just scrape my 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 lungs are、uh, in smoke. You sure get high one? We all laugh, bro. Life is about choices, and I made a lot of wrong choices,、uh, you know. And then when you do that, you have to pay. Yeah, there's just no way out. For me, if you ask me, right? I just wish that I was not born. Many time, I want to do something to myself. I want to go up and just jump down. But I always tell myself that I'm not that coward, lah. I still can continue doing what I'm doing. There's a different feeling in giving back to the society because I've taken a lot already. Currently, also I'm doing whatever I'm helping. I'm using my scooter team to actually to go and find for the homeless people to feed them with home cooked food and、uh, some、uh, goodie bags like towel, Colgate shampoos. So the only thing I want to see is a smile on their face, lah. Because last time when I was very very naughty, I only can see tears. So I don't want to see that anymore. I just want to wipe all of that and see everybody smile, including me. Before I close my eyes.